A game can change. So there's this guy. 888 Casino. Check in to Foxy Bingle. They are the betting men. Netbet. Making. Get £10 free at the UK's bet. Luck is no quiz. Come and play. Other bingos. Bet on the. Bet Victor. Stop. One pound turns into ten pounds. Ten pounds into a hundred pounds. Once a gambler gets the taste for it, things can turn deadly without proper guidance and support. Countless stories about people losing their homes, families, and even their lives have one root cause. What could be an innocuous, occasional vice ends up dominating their lives. Experts have studied the difference between brain scans after a win and a near miss, and have found that the two are almost identical. The anticipation of a win has been likened to the effects of a euphoria-inducing drug, yet gambling addiction is often taken less seriously than other addictions like alcoholism. So-called fixed odds betting terminals, or FOBTs, have been dubbed the crack cocaine of gambling, with one man working five jobs to feed his addiction to Paddy Power's machines. Some people are happy having their bets on their horses and dogs, they're not interested in the machines, but we are told we have to get new customers on the machines all the time. The Irish bookmaker has been accused of failing to protect its customers, encouraging him until he lost his home, jobs and family. Young people with bright futures have taken their own lives, ashamed of their uncontrollable habits. One such victim was 23-year-old accountant Joshua Jones, who plunged to his death from an office building after losing thousands on poker stars. His online plea for help a few years earlier garnered little sympathy. One can see why gambling appeals to many. Small stakes with extremely high returns. However, so-called small stakes mount up and frequently evolve into larger sums. Experts believe addiction develops when gambling is done to escape life's problems, curb boredom, perhaps at work or when retired. Many erroneously believe it to be a money-making strategy and it also fulfills a thrill seeker's needs. Gamcare say that a lot of gamblers feel they're waiting for the big win, which never comes but always seems tantalizingly close. But often they find having a big win would simply fuel their desire for more gambling, leaving them feeling trapped into a behavior with no way out. According to the Gambling Commission, the regulatory body for the gambling industry, British punters lost a massive £12.6 billion in 2015 alone. And with £162 million spent so far this year on gambling adverts, companies are trying harder than ever to lure potential customers, despite efforts to reduce the amount broadcast. Sponsorship deals and celebrity endorsements mean that millions of viewers find themselves bombarded with betting promotions, and many feel they may as well join in. Companies like The Sun have ventured in this direction. They allowed me to take this footage of a launch event featuring longtime Sun ambassador and ex-footballer Ian Wright and key executives celebrating the launch of Sunbets. Ladbrokes say that all bookmakers need to make a profit to stay in business, so rather than calculating odds with true probabilities, Bookmakers adjust them slightly to ensure they bring in a profit. Bookmakers balance true probability with public opinion. You rarely see odds contrasting with public opinion. Perhaps what has spurred on punters to gamble more than ever is that online sports betting has become a community activity, with Twitter tipsters suggesting possible bets to followers, some asking money in return. These have been heavily criticised, with many exposed as scams, profiting from customer losses through affiliation with bookmakers. 
are there enough efforts being made to try and curb addiction? This was a campaign run by the Senate Group, a body set up to promote responsible gambling standards, in association with similar organisation Gamble Aware. If you're betting more than you can afford, it's a bad betty. So pause for a moment and think again. When the fun stops, stop. Most betting sites have general measures to protect its punters. Skybet suggests a cool-off period where the site in question cannot be accessed for a period, reality checks to remind you how long you have been gambling, setting deposit limits, keeping up other interests or hobbies, or installing filtering software. But the question remains, are these generic measures really enough? Problem gambling is a serious illness and needs to be treated as such. Gambling must be recognised as an entertainment expense and not an investment strategy. Like any vice, gambling in moderation can be enjoyable and affordable. You can now place a bet with only one touch. So with technology becoming more and more advanced, the betting industry will only grow more lucrative and as always, the punters will pay the price. Therefore, it is more important than ever to gamble responsibly.